Joker is on its way to becoming the biggest R-rated movie of all time which is absolutely impressive absolutely fantastic this movie completely deserves it and uh this this is really really an exciting unprecedented time that we are entering right now with joker uh which is pretty crazy because Warner Brothers did not expect this movie to do that well, which is why they kind of gave it such a small budget, which is why they kind of wanted to make the movie not even happen. They didn't think this movie was going to be as successful as it is, and yet they are being proven wrong by the filmmakers, by Todd Phillips, by Joaquin Phoenix, and by the fans. By the fans. They are being proven wrong by the fans, which is absolutely incredible. Which just goes to show that if you give us a good story with good characters, we will support it. We will absolutely support it. Same thing happened with Alita. Yes, I know that Alita didn't make nearly as much as Joker did. And, uh, you know, especially when you consider, like, the profit margin and stuff. It's nowhere near Joker's profit margin. But, um... The movie did better than people were expecting. All of the experts thought that, that movie was going to completely flop in every single way. And while it wasn't really a major, major success, it did much better than people were expecting. And that's because the fans went out and supported the movie because they fell in love with the character Alita. And uh, this is just another prime example of that happening. So, Joker will top 900 million as biggest R-rated movie in history. The plausible became possible. Possible, and then it became inevitable. Warner Bros. Uh, supervillain or origin movie Joker climbed to 737 million worldwide. By the way, I saw that Odin's movie blog posted uh, talked about this as well. But this is without it even being in China, which is crazy. This movie is going to be topping 900 million without even going to China, which is insane. That is absolutely insane. Um, let's see. And next weekend, it will pass $810 million in global receipts. All indications are Joker won't stop until it tops $900 million to become the biggest R-rated film in history. As of today's box office numbers, Joker is now officially the third highest grossing R-rated release of all time, just ahead of The Matrix Reloaded and behind only Deadpool and Deadpool 2, which... With, yeah, that it's going to completely destroy that for sure. For the rest of its theatrical run, Joker is pacing toward a lowest end final tally of 875 million and a highest end tally total of about 945 million. The low end estimate is assuming sudden large declines and a fast departure from theaters in its final weeks, while the high end assumes continued small weekly declines even against strong box office competition in the weeks ahead. A moderate midpoint between the two estimates is 910 to 915 million, which is probably where we should expect Joker to end its run to avoid overstating things at this point. Um, Joker's success is Warner's shining star of 2019, their biggest performer of the year. After several would-be franchise hits fizzled out or otherwise suffered under performances this year, Joker will now combine with Shazam to give the studio's DC Comics properties their fourth $1 billion plus year in a row after uh okay so let's see next year birds of prey and wonder woman 1984 give warner's dc films an all-woman slate that should easily top a combined one billion at the box office i don't think birds of prey is going to do nearly as well as joker i, th I think birds of prey will probably end up like around i don't know 700 million my guess is that's kind of my guess at this point uh while it's way too early for any serious financial analysis uh, based purely on the prior success of the characters in those series and the reinvigorated dc performance i tentatively suspect we'll see a two film cum in the 1.5 billion range uh i think it might be a little bit more than that but but yeah maybe like 1.6 is my guess um let's see i'll also remind you that i heard from four months that supergirl was expected to be in production next year in preparation for a hoped uh for 2021 release while that information is admitted several months old at this point i've not yet heard a solid source info claiming anything has changed um 
Which is all to say Joker has lifted Warner's spirits for 2019 and kept up the DC movies trend of delivering an excess of $1.1 billion per year in box office revenue. I mean, this is huge for for Warner Brothers. This is just going to con continue to encourage them and inspire them to want to pursue good stories like Joker. Like, this is, go this is big and this is very, very beneficial to us as the fans as well. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my desk, which is awesome. I mean, I'm very, very excited to hear this. It's it's what we need at this time. It really, really is. And uh, it's the funny thing is that Joker actually has a bigger profit margin than Infinity War because they spent hardly any mon money on Joker. Like, it was like $55 million, I think, to make, which is insane. So because of that, Joker has a bigger profit margin than infinity war which just goes to show is that you don't need to have a bigger film a more effects blown film to do well you don't need that and people like me want to see more films that aren't like that that are films that are focused on characters and and good stories and getting in the nitty-gritty of storytelling and that's what i want to see more of so seeing joker doing so well is very awesome to see and uh congrats to everyone that worked on joker you absolutely deserve it and i'm just very happy that this movie is getting the support that it, that it deserves so with that being said let me know in the comments below what you think about this i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you all very soon in another video talk to you later bye hey everyone it's jeremy from geeksandgamers.com and if you're a fan of geeks and gamers please go to our website visit our merchandise store we have t-shirts hoodies hats beanies tank tops and in the very near future we're going to have many more products for you to choose from so thank you for the support we appreciate it you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later